we have this like idea that we have to share everything, right? And if we don't share it, it didn't happen. I so I had another baby. <laughs> okay, so I'm recording because lately I have just, I've been feeling fine, but I keep waking up like super early in the morning, just not feeling the best. King is flushing the toilet because he just loves to flush the toilet. I don't know why he likes to do this. But anyway, um, I keep waking up at like 3 a.m. every morning 3 a.m. I just haven't been like feeling the best. I've, I feel like really tired a lot and my cycle still never showed up. So I'm like, all right, let's just take another test for, you know, craps and giggles. All right, time for the results. Well, that's two lines, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> Whoa, I did not think I was gonna do the whole two under two thing. That's fun. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, God. I wanted King to have a sibling. Um, well, deep down inside, I wanted him to have a sibling. I was okay if he didn't have a sibling because in my mind, I'm like, he could be an only child, it's not a big deal. Um, but, I think in my heart, I knew I wanted him to have a sibling. I've seen kids with their, you know, that have siblings, and I'm just like, you know, that'd be nice for King to have a best friend, like a built-in best friend. Because, like, my siblings, like, they're my built-in best friends. King, do you want a baby? Well, not you have a baby, but do you want mommy to have a baby? Wow, girl, wow. Oh, my God. Am I going to have a baby on my birthday? No. What's today's date? July? August December, January. Oh, thank God. February, March, April. Okay, so this might be like an April baby. It might come around Tay's birthday. <laughs> Yay! Mm, I love you so much. I love you. I, love you. I know I love you. I am recording this super, super, like way, way, way after like the baby is here and everything. Um, and I've taken a break from YouTube and I took a break actually from a lot of things when I became pregnant for the second time. <laughs> and I'm still laughing about this because honestly, it has just been the craziest journey. Um, it has been the craziest experience to have had another baby. Like I'm still like, I still sometimes have like a pinch me moment. Like I am a mom of two and it's exciting. Um, and it is, it's an experience. <laughs> An experience for sure um and i really i love it i love it and i i never thought that i would be so happy about something in my life like i just i never could have thought that i'd be happier than i could ever comprehend i i can't i can't even put it into words i literally can't i have i don't have the words for it so I want to talk a little bit about why I kept my pregnancy a secret. I kept my my pregnancy a secret on social media, on YouTube, like literally nobody knew I was pregnant. There were probably five people and then our immediate family that knew we were pregnant and that we were having a baby. And for me, being fully transparent, I didn't think that I was going to have more kids after King. Um, I was actually really afraid to just because I had complications. With my pregnancy i had complications with delivery and then on my maternal side um just a lot of the women on my mom's side of the family have a lot of complications and issues with pregnancy and so for me i spent king's pregnancy which is my oldest i spent his pregnancy very scared like just very nervous um a lot of anxiety which i already have anxiety so a couple like like it was just adding more anxiety on and for me, I was just really nervous about doing that all over again. And because of that, I really was just in a headspace of, I am not doing this again. Like, there's just no way. Um, but here we are with two. And it's been, it was interesting, right? My pregnancy with my second wasn't nearly as challenging. And I truly believe it was because I kept it quiet. Um, and it's, it's a little bit surreal on how different the pregnancies were and how different the deliveries were. And while there were definitely some things I was not feeling about my second delivery, um, pregnancy overall wasn't as taxing. It wasn't as as hard. 
Um, am I gonna do it again? Prayerfully not. <laughs> I K herself. I am I am hoping that we are two and through. Um I in my heart I feel two and through. I'll say with King, while I did feel one and done, um, there was a part of me that was like, you know what, I think that we're gonna have another one. And Tan and I had conversations and something that happened as we were having conversations about having another kid is that I found myself feeling sad when I wasn't pregnant. And there was a period of time that we weren't trying to get pregnant, but we weren't not trying to get pregnant. And okay, so for the past few days, I've had motion sickness, um, like literally walking up and down the stairs makes me sick. Um, my face is breaking out. Dang, what's okay, so my face has been breaking out really bad. Um, with like I don't get acne so my face is like breaking out really bad and I thought at first it was like oh maybe because I'm um what else I've been tired I've been not cranky or moody but I have definitely been like, increasingly frustrated um and I'm not like now I'm to a point in my life where I'm not like super oh my gosh everything is like sucks or whatever you know so for me to be having like these weird moods I'm just like uh what's going on so Today I decided I'm gonna take a pregnancy test just to like rule out that it's that. I haven't had my cycle since being like having the baby. So I haven't had the cycle, my cycle in like two years. You know, it's hard to really know if you're pregnant or not, if your period's not coming. So um, yeah, guys, sex leads to babies. So I'm fully acknowledging that whether I'm pregnant or not. So let's look at this test. <laughs> I'm not looking, all right, not pregnant. Not pregnant. I have a mixer. So we're not pregnant. It was at that time that I realized that secretly I had the desire to have another child. I just hadn't let myself feel that yet because I was still afraid, for lack of better words, I was still afraid of what pregnancy was like. And I was still afraid of, you know, um, delivery. I was like still afraid of certain things. And so I didn't let myself fully like be okay with the idea of having another child and it's so interesting when i watch back certain clips and look at certain things i'm like wow you know i for someone that didn't want any more kids i definitely was like dejected and you know just like there's a sort of sadness that i see in myself about not being pregnant um and i feel like that's so interesting and it's so telling of like sometimes we don't know what our true desires are like sometimes we don't truly know what we want until we receive it um and now on the other side of things i'm definitely like heck yeah i wanted another baby like duh <laughs> you know why wouldn't i um and it, i also realized the difference in the feelings that i had after having my first to having my second like after my first I think that because everything was so new and so different, I was just like, oh yeah, I'm done. This is, blah, blah, blah. you know, I was having all those feelings. Um, but I don't think I realized how beautiful that journey was in that moment, right? With my second, I really, I noticed that I savored a lot of different moments of my pregnancy, of my delivery, um, and even of this postpartum time, I've savored it in such a different way which has given me a different sense of peace, which is why if I don't have any more children, which I'm 5,000% okay with, <laughs> if I have no more children, I, will f I, I, I know that I feel complete and I know that I've savored every single moment of the second pregnancy and of the second delivery and, you know, I've, I've really savored all of that. And so if it's my last, which I, I, I truly like, I'm in a headspace where I'm like, I do hope it's my last um but you know if this is my last like i feel like uh, there are certain things that happen and i'm like this feels final and it's sad but i love it at the same time so i don't know if anybody else can relate to that feeling because it's it's definitely like a lot of different feelings like, it's a lot of different feelings but it's it's honest like it's honest where i am in this season um and you know i'm really going with god on it like i'm really like all right where are we at with this you know what what, what we doing you know um and it feels it feels good though like it feels really good and it feels really um safe which is something that i have been looking for in this 
season of my life because there have been a lot of things that have made me feel unsafe. Um, and motherhood was something that I really wanted to, I wanted to mother myself in a way that I hadn't experienced before. Um, and it's been beautiful. When I became pregnant the second time, I knew that I had to do something different. Um, something that I experienced my first pregnancy and I feel like everybody that's pregnant like whenever you have kids whenever you like start having kids and stuff you experience like the whole unsolicited advice thing okay so when I became pregnant I knew that in order to really experience the pregnancy the way I wanted to experience it I needed to be silent um, I I actually wasn't intending to keep the whole pregnancy a secret I was planning to talk about it but I had a client of mine talk to me about um Elizabeth don't know Elizabeth is the mother of John the Baptist and I knew like when, when I got pregnant I was like praying like God I want this to be an easy pregnancy like Lord like just please I can't I, I can't do the drama that I did the last pregnancy and so like it just so happened that my client talked to me about Elizabeth and I really didn't know the story of Elizabeth I knew you know about Elizabeth and Mary I knew like about how Elizabeth's womb like it um, you know the baby jumped for Mary um, but I didn't really know much about Elizabeth herself and um, I read this scripture and I'm going to share the scripture with you. Luke 1, 24 through 25. And it says, now after those days, his wife, Elizabeth conceived and she hid herself five months saying, thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. And it was at that moment that I realized, um, and I, I just, I felt like God was telling me like, be quiet, like be still. If you can be quiet, if you can be still, if you can just rest in me, I will take away any pain. I will, I will help you navigate the season. But I had to trust him fully. And in order to do that, I had to remove all the influences and the people and just the things that were out there that I could listen to. Because I will say with, with King, with my first pregnancy, you know, it was new. It was exciting. And everyone was excited, right? Everybody and their grandmother, you know, had advice and they had things they wanted to share. And while I get the sentiment behind it, right, and I, I understand that people, you know, moms were coming from a really loving place, it wasn't always helpful. Um especially people that like had a really bad experience right when they have a really bad experience and they're telling you these things and it's like it just makes you more scared and more anxious than necessary because of that i was like all right i'm armed with the lord <laughs> and you know we're gonna try this new approach and so um we told you know our immediate families um and then like we we both had like a couple of friends that we told godparents knew and and jesus that was it we, we just kept it really tight this time i'm gonna do okay i was just gonna like because um we're supposed to be going to uh where are we going we're supposed to be going to starbucks um so i was just gonna hand him the test and record it but now i'm like maybe i should put king in a shirt and then and say like big brother i wanted to get a shirt that said big brother you know would have been super cute but couldn't find one but they did have a shirt that said awesome brother awesome brother so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tell he's not gonna notice it at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna change him in, out of this shirt, and then I'm gonna tell Tay like when he gets here, like, oh, change the baby's diaper. And I'm gonna try to figure out how to give King the pregnancy test without him putting it in his mouth. I like your shirt, cool kid. I like your shirt, cool kid. That's not how you get it out. We're still weaning. You. The best hugs in the world. Now guess. Well, I'm saying that Popeye's chicken. <laughs> okay, it's in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, this is part that you pee on. Yep. Yeah. So two lines mean pregnant. Yep. <laughs> this boy's so stuck. <laughs>
Yeah, and your son got a shirt on. I did it twice. I can't see. I can't see. What that mean? I can't see him. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, where the pregnant and not pregnant one at? <laughs> it's two yeah, lines it, on what it. What does it mean? It got two lines. That means it's pregnant. Y'all still me? No. Wow. Hey. We're not telling people no. <laughs> oh, well, I thought she was going to say what she said last time. The pregnant time. <laughs> And so that was the whole thing and um and it was great like it was really fun like being creative because like I, i'm you know i'm a business owner so i had to like still show up on social media and so it was really fun and like really funny to you know be creative like i had a whole photo shoot at six months pregnant and i posted the photos nobody knew like i was six months pregnant and i was huge like i was huge at six months pregnant um and like the photos that I posted, like nobody knew. Um, and it was really fun. I mean, th there were some people that were like, oh, like when I finally announced that, they were like, oh yeah, I knew that. Okay, girl, okay. Um, but you know, it was, it's really fun. And, but also I think more importantly, and like even going deeper as to like why I chose to keep it like my own, like a secret. I feel like online, we have this like idea that we have to share everything, right? And if we don't share it, it didn't happen. I don't know if you guys remember like, or if you remember when people used to say, you know, if it's not Facebook official, it didn't happen, you know, like, or or now that it's Facebook official, like, you know, it's real. And it's like, we really do have that thought process around things. But the truth of the matter is, is that there's so much life outside of these apps. And I, I feel like we have to remember that. And I have to remind myself of that. And something that I was convicted about is that, I spent a lot of, I've spent, you know, I spent a lot of time in my, my adult life, you know, from the time that I got on Facebook when I was like 15 to, you know, now I'm 30. I spent a lot of time on these apps and, you know, living my life and then putting the snapshots, like putting the proof online. And I realized like, I don't want to do that anymore. Um, I, I realized that instead of like thinking about it as me putting the proof, I instead want to document and share it when I'm ready or share it when I want to. Like I want to take back my power with my relationship with social media. And this is just me personally. And I realized like for this, for this experience, I wanted to experience it fully without any thoughts of getting a response from anybody else. Um, especially people that we're not super close right um and this is specifically like i have family members that i'm like not super close to and stuff like that and i really just i know that people mean well but things can come off wrong you know and even things that i can say can come off wrong so i wanted to just be mindful of like what kind of energy am i going to carry for this pregnancy what kind of energy am i going to carry around now becoming a mom of two like i had a couple of family members that i had you know shared it with and they said some things and i was just like man like dog I, I i wish that i just wish that people could be you know happy about i don't know i just i i wish people's responses were different um and so because of that it just really it made it to where i was like i i need to be more intentional and, that, and that's the thing for me i want to always be and i strive to be more intentional and i truly believe this is because i've had like i've had kids i didn't used to think this way before i didn't used to like I didn't used to think this stuff at all, but now that I have kids, I want to show them something different and something better. I want to show them how 
They have to be responsible with the people they allow into their life and the influence they have in their life um, and the influence that they have on others. More importantly, I want to raise them to be God fearing men. I want to raise them to speak the gospel and to, you know, read the word and let that inform their choices and their next steps. And so if I don't say anything else, the most important thing is that I feel like personally God told me to be quiet and that's fine. And when the time came, I was able to share and it was a beautiful thing. And when I shared it, um, the baby had been born for a little bit and I, and I, I shared it and it was great. Like it was, it was beautiful. And you know, it really just kind of like solidified for me what happens when you're obedient like what ha like this is what happens when you are obedient and you follow whatever instruction you're given you know I, I don't think there's you know what God tells you may be different from what he tells me in terms of like what he wants us to do and so I'm not here to say like oh you need to you need to keep your pregnancy a secret or you don't need to share it you know if you're a business owner and blah blah, blah. I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying like whatever he tells you to do just do it you know because like I will say like this this pregnancy was so much easier. I'd still had a few complications, um, but it was so much easier. My delivery, <laughs> my delivery was good. I will say that it was good, but there were some things I was like, bro, come on, not to God, but you know, like, bro. Um, but you know, I just feel like now I'm in just a whole different season and different thought process around what God can do. I, I think I always knew that God could do all things, you know, that was never the question of concern. But my level of just like blind faith, I didn't experience it until now. And what I will say is that, man, I've been missing out. <laughs> I've been missing out. And it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm glad, like, I'm glad that I finally did the thing that was hard, you know, and I, I actually had a friend ask me the other day, you know, how, like, what are some tips on being obedient? And what I said to her is that obedience, while it's not easy, you can do it when you know it's from God. And so for me, I had that confirmation, right? I had the scripture, I prayed on it. You know, when something is from God, you have that, that inner peace and confidence around it. And so being obedient while it's still going to be a challenge, right? It's still going to be like, there was, there were plenty of moments that, you know, I recorded something and my belly was showing and I was like, ah, oh, I'm, so, I'm good to some posting anyway. But I was like, no, you know, no, can't post it. You know, you can't post this, um, you know, and I had to do it again or I just didn't post at all or whatever. And so, you know, when it comes to being obedient, I, I feel like, especially for me, something that I have to be really sure of is, is this something that God told me to do? Because, a lot of times we say like, oh, God said do this. when well, he didn't say that, you know? And then it's like, you, you're battling yourself. Like you're battling yourself and you're saying it's God, you're saying it's God. And it's like, no, you made this up. And I've done this so many times where I say like, oh, God told me to do this. God made me to do this. And it's like, I literally made this thing up. Um, but obedience, while again, it's not easy, <laughs> it's definitely not easy it becomes something that you want to do because you love God and because you respect God and because you fear God, you do it because of that. And while again, it's not easy, you just have this inner peace knowing that, you know what, there's a purpose to this. Like I'm doing this for a certain end, for a certain purpose, for a certain, you know, whatever. And you may not know what what's on the other side of that. Like I didn't know what was on the other side of this. I didn't know what was on the other side of me keeping it private. I didn't know how God was going to bless me. I didn't know, you know, the, the people that he was going to put in place. I didn't know the healing that I was going to experience. I didn't know those things going into it. What I knew is that he told me this. He gave, he put this on my heart and I was obedient. I did it. Um, and while, again, like there were times that I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to tell everybody, like everybody's going to find out. Because I, I mean, I was excited, obviously excited, you know, I was super excited, but I also knew that like, okay, okay. Like there's a reason for this. And I hope this is encourages this encourages somebody, whether it's, you know, a pregnancy announcement, whether it's something else, like seek God, right? I do know is that I am at peace and I am grateful and I I feel like 
the things that have happened in the last year have happened because of my obedience. And I think that while there were a lot of struggles, while there were a lot of, um, while there were a lot of hard times, I was able to see the silver lining. I was able to get, extend myself grace because I knew and I had confidence that I was like being obedient, that I was walking in my calling and walking my purpose. And I was, you know, I knew, I, I, I knew. And um, I hope that I encourage somebody, like if you're in the midst of a season where you're like, okay, God, what's going on here? Like, what's going on here? I just want to encourage you to like, keep praying through it, like keep praying through it, keep, you know, and stay quiet. Like sometimes you have to just like sit still for long enough to get a response. And that can be the hard part. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like it sucks. Like it, it sucks, like it just, it just sucks. Um, you know, but I I really started getting more into the word. Um, you know, King is into the word, like King, King can kind of pray now, which is really cute. Um, there were a lot of things that needed to happen. And I feel like this season of just being quiet and being obedient and, you know, um, navigating the changes that I was gonna go through from being a mom of one to now being a mom of two, like all of the, all the things that happened were necessary. And, um, and yeah, so that's it. So that was my, so this is my pregnancy announcement. And that is it for this one. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you have any questions or, um, you know, if this conversation like sparks anything and you wanna talk about it in the comments, I'd love to talk about it. And maybe share in the comments below a scripture that you turn to whenever you are like looking for God to confirm something for you. Um, I would love to hear those and see those in the comments. Until next time, I will talk to you later.